The objective is to decompose and compose fractions greater than 1 to express them in various forms. This here is the mixed number 3 and 2 fifths. Let's go ahead and decompose it into its ones and fifths. How many ones is it worth? Right, there are three ones within three and two fifths. How many fifths go along with those three ones? Correct, two fifths. Now, with the three ones, how many fifths are in those three ones? How many fifths are in those three ones? Or what are the three ones worth in fifths? Three ones is worth how many fifths? Correct, 15. So three and two fifths can be broken apart into 15 fifths and two fifths. Finally, 15 fifths plus two fifths equals 17 fifths. So that three and two fifths is worth 17 fifths. Two and one fourth. Let's figure out how many fourths two and one fourth is equal to. We'll break it apart into its wholes and into its fractional parts. The wholes, or the ones within this number, there are two ones within this number. Now those two ones, I've indicated on my number line here, those two ones will be worth how many fourths? Well, it would help to have our number line divided into fourths, and I'll add another whole number, three, as well. In between each whole number, I end up drawing three lines to divide it into four parts. So remember, it goes four-fourths and then eight-fourths. So we have zero, one, which was four-fourths, and two, which was eight-fourths. So two wholes equals eight-fourths. And then so for two and one-fourth, I just need to go one more fourth there. So I have eight-fourths and one-fourth, which equals nine-fourths. Read the whole number sentence with me. Two and one-fourth is equal to nine-fourths. Okay, it's your turn to try. Choose a method to go ahead and make five and one-third into thirds. Did you decompose it? Breaking it apart into its ones and into its fractional parts, and then figuring out how many thirds that that five is worth. What would you end up doing with the fifteen thirds and one third at that point? Right, you would end up adding them to be able to get sixteen thirds. Check over your answer. Another way to approach this is to be able to use multiplication sentence along with number bonds. First off, let's take 5 and 2 thirds and separate it into its ones, and then also its thirds, so that we separate it into its ones and thirds as two parts. So there's five ones along with two thirds. Those five ones end up equaling five times three thirds. Five times three thirds, because remember, three thirds does equal one. Three thirds times five. So how many total thirds are there? Well, that's five times three, which is 15. So there's 15 thirds within those 
five ones. Writing that out, we have five and two thirds equaling five times three thirds. We just rewrote that five, and then we still have two thirds there that we would have to add back in. Again, five times three thirds, count with me, three thirds, six thirds, nine thirds, 12 thirds, 15 thirds. And then after we write out that 15 thirds, we better add in the two thirds as well, which does equal 17 thirds. Yep, those five holes are worth 15 thirds, and then we add in the two thirds. Let's see what four and three sevenths is, and how many sevenths that is worth. First off, we look at the four holes, so we can decompose it into four along with its three sevenths. And in looking at those four holes, we then think, we then think, hey, that's four times how many sevenths then? Seven sevenths because that's equal to one. There was four ones. What do we do with the three sevenths? Right, we add it back in. Four times seven is 28. Count by seven sevenths, seven sevenths, 14 sevenths, 21 sevenths, 28 sevenths. So those four holes are worth 28 sevenths plus another three sevenths. Yes, that's what we had done before at the beginning when we were looking at these here. So we have 28 sevenths plus another three sevenths, which will equal 31 sevenths. I'm going from a mixed number with its whole parts and fractional parts into an improper fraction. Okay, let's look at one last problem. You try five and three-fourths. Pause the video while you do your work. Did you write five ones along with three-fourths? Those five ones are worth how many fourths? Write 20, 20 fourths. It was four-fourths, eight-fourths, 12-fourths, which is also equal to three, 16 fourths, and finally, 20 fourths. What do we do with the 20 fourths and the 3 fourths? Right, you add them. So you get 23 fourths. 23 fourths does equal 5 and 3 fourths. So today, you learned how to rewrite mixed numbers into improper fractions, where we have a whole and a fractional part, and then so and we have fractional parts there where we're talking about fourths.